Hello, everybody, and thank you for coming to watch, which possibly will be the shortest lecture on internet working, internet working that has yet to hit YouTube. And why is that? Why would it be the shortest video yet? Well, that's because YouTube limits me to less than 10 minutes per video on upload, unless I give them my telephone number, which I know they would never share with anybody in the world. So I did not give them my telephone number, and I'm going to limit this lecture to less than 10 minutes, 8 minutes to be exact. Okay, so without further ado, we should get started. First, I would like to introduce you to a very world-renowned individual. This is Mr. O.C. Stack. And you can see him right there. He's wearing his hat, being formal as usual. And he should be formal because he's a very international individual. He's world-renowned and uh, for what he has played, the role he has played in telecommunications and networking. Well, what has he done? Let me show you what he has done. He contributed a lot to this. And is this a layer cake? Well, it looks like a layer cake. And actually, this layer cake communicates with exact facsimile of this other layer cake on the other side of the LAN, the WAN, the BAN, the PAN, or whatever network that we are referring to. It's quite remarkable when you think of it, because we are kind of de demystifying communication between two computers over an indeterminate size of a network. All right, so here we go. Now, has anybody guessed what these letters designate? I don't hear any answers. Okay, well, I will take the reins on this one. Application, presentation, session, transport, network, data link, physical. Oh, yeah. That's right. I hear a big oh, yeah, in the audience. That's what it stands for. Now, um, what this is, it's a, uh, it's a, a layered way of representa representing networks. It is, uh, again, it's the open, open systems interconnect protocol stack. Um, and by doing this, it facilitates the development of networks, where each layer communicates with its corresponding layer across the networks, as I have mentioned. Okay, but how does it do that? Well, it does that by first developing a packet or piece of data up at the application layer and sending it down through each successive layer until it gets to the physical layer, and the physical layer will send it over a wire. It will send it over the air through um, uh, the electromagnetic spectrum. Or uh, send it to what else? What other media do we have? Fiber optics. That's correct. Or we'll send it over fiber optics, the big three main types of media that we use now for telecommunications. Um, so what happens essentially is that whatever application you're using, email, FTP, whatever, um, it creates, oh, sorry about that, Dr. Stack. Hope you didn't get hurt. Um, okay, uh, it makes a packet. You know, a packet is just basically uh, bits that are encompassed with a start and stop delimiters and a uh, cyclical redundancy check and the actual payload that's in it. And as it goes down each of these layers, most of the layers will, all of the layers will put a header on it except the physical layer. And the data link will put a trailer on it. So what that means is that perpended to a particular packet that is created at the application layer, a certain amount of bits will be put on there that can include the source address, the destination address, most specifically the transport layer where TCP resides, by the way. Um, and so that each corresponding header is put on um, to the actual payload, the data packet, and um, each, and like I said, the uh, data link will put the header and a trailer on there, which is important. The trailer is used for error correction and detection. Um, with, a, uh, again, a secret redundancy check, which is basically a polynomial mathematical function that is uh, derived from uh, the contents of the entire packet. It goes to the physical layer where it's encoded into bits and put over the medium. It's 
received by a receiving computer, whether it be in the next room, or whether it be in the next country, or whether it be across the world, via intermediary computers, of course, called routers, or switches, or bridges, but it just depends on the proximity that you are to the other computer if we're going to use a bridge, or switch, or a router, or a gateway. Um, so, what happens here, it, the physical the physical layer receives the packet, and each subsequent layer, as it goes up the stack, will look at the uh, associate, associated header and or trailer, and see the information that's in there. Um, it'll go to the network, and if this is a router, it'll stop at the network layer, they look at a routing table and send it to the next computer along the way. So not all the computers will look at the whole stack. The intermediary computers will only look at the associated information in that layer for, for which the packet will reach. The transport layer is an important layer um, in as much as computers are divided where these four layers actually represent computer-to-computer -computer communications. These layers indicate intermediary computer to intermediate intermediary computer communication, of course, starting with the um, originating computer or node and ending with the destination node. Um, so as it goes up the stack, it will take each each header will be stripped off and the application at the receiving computer will receive the information and process it. Um, how do we know which application it is? Well, it goes by port numbers. It, those are um, conceptual numbers on a computer. Port 80 is usually, is always for web services and so on. And sockets. Uh, the packets will, co uh, will contain information about the sockets, which is the destination, ad the IP address, the port, and the protocol that, con that constitutes a socket. Okay, now, um, we said a lot there, uh, but we haven't even really broken the ice on what this does. Uh, but however, I think this might be a good terminating point because I do want to receive the prize for the shortest networking lecture ever to reach you to. So I'm going to end there. And thank you very much for coming and watching my very short networking video, and have a good day. Bye.